morning. Today we're going to read Dogger's Christmas by Shirley Hughes. If you haven't read the Dogger books before, it's about a little boy who has a toy teddy, which is a dog called Dogger. We're going to meet him now. Once there was a boy called Dave. He had a big sister called Bella and a little brother called Joe. Joe could not walk properly yet. They had to scrabble along the floor, crawling very fast. Bella was especially good at running and jumping and she could turn cartwheels and stand on her head. Dave had a very favourite toy called Dogger, who was almost as old as he was. He still took him to bed every night. But now he was getting older, he was getting more interested in all sorts of other toys, like his train set. And his spaceship and cars that you could wind up and so that they would whiz about very fast all on their own. Christmas was coming soon. Dave and Bella helped Mum and Dad put up the paper chains and decorate the tree. They knew all about it being the birthday of baby Jesus and how he had not had a proper bed and had to sleep in a manger. And he was visited by angels and shepherds and wise men. Bella and Dave and Bella were very busy making lists of all the fancy stuff they were hoping to get as presents and posting them up the chimney to Father Christmas. Bella did not want any more teddies because she had seven already. She was asking for some new trainers and a t-shirt with an Olympic badge on and a really good skipping rope because the one she had was a bit babyish. Dave wanted lots more track for his train set and some building bricks and a book about wild animals and a chocolate reindeer. Mum helped him make his list. Mum took Dave and Bella Christmas shopping. Joe was too young for that, so he stayed at home with Dad, but they had not took Dogger either, in case he got lost. Dave left Dogger propped up on the windowsill, waiting for them to come back. They've been gone a very long time. On Christmas Eve, the tray was all alight in front of the window and Dave and Bella had their Christmas stockings ready to hang up. Dave had meant to give Dogger a stocking too, but there was so much excitement going on he'd forgotten. When at last they were cuddled down together, Dave found it very hard to get to sleep. He knew that Father Christmas would not come until he was asleep, but somehow he kept sitting up and checking the end of the bed to make quite sure that his stocking was easy to see. But in the end, all the house was quiet. At last, it was Christmas morning and Dave, Bella and Joe woke up early to find their stockings full of all sorts of lovely presents. The floor around their beds was covered in torn wrapping paper. As soon as Mum and Dad were awake, Dave and Bella gave them their presents, which they had kept secretly hidden. Dave had some lovely sweet-smelling soap for Mum, which Dad had helped him choose, and a bag of chocolate coins for Dad. Bella had a little diary for Dad, which he could take into the office, and a book about wildflowers for Mum. After breakfast, Mum and Bella went over to see Jim Baker, who lived on his own next door with his dog Ruffy. Mum had a box of chocolates for him and Bella had made him a card. She had also had a tin of dog food for Ruffy, who was her special friend. My son Phil's coming over to see me and bringing Christmas dinner, Jim said. Bound to be late, but it's great to see him when he does turn up. Meanwhile, Dave and Joe had stayed at home with Dad, who was keeping an eye on Christmas dinner. Dave started to build a spaceship station with his new building blocks. When Granny and Grandpa arrived, bringing presents, Christmas had really begun. It was a lovely day. At bedtime, when Grandma and Grandpa had left, the children were very tired and very happy. Joe had tucked up and Dave and was already fast asleep when Dad carried him upstairs to bed. Bella followed very soon after. Later that evening, when Dad was cleaning up the Christmas wrapping paper and putting it into a big plastic bag, and Mum was filling the dishwasher, they heard a wail. 
Dave had woken up and wanted Dogger. <clears throat> but where was he? They looked everywhere, but he was nowhere to be found. Dave cried and cried. He felt so sad that Dogger, his dear old friend, had been forgotten and left out of all the Christmas fun. It took him a long time to get to sleep. In the following day, Dave did not want to play with his new toys. Christmas was no good without Dogger. Mum reminded him that Dogger had been lost before and he'd turn up in the end. He was sure to be fit in the house somewhere. But Dave was not reassured. His misery spread through the whole family. No matter how hard they all searched, Dogger seemed to be disappeared. Dave began to think that this time he might be lost forever. Dad was doing a lot of cleaning up. Dave and Bella stood in the doorway and watched sadly as he tied up the Christmas rubbish bags and took it out to the place where they kept the bins. The refuge van was already making its way noisily up the street and the bin men were emptying all the bringing bags into the back of it so that all the contents were scrunched up in, out inside. They were nearly at Dave and Bella's house when suddenly Bella had a wonderful idea. She decided to have one last look for Dogger. Bella rushed over to the bin and emptied the rubbish out all over the path and began searching through it. And guess what? There he is! Out of a big piece of screwed up wrapping paper she caught sight of the tip of a little brown tail. He shouted. Dogger! shouted Dave. Bella pulled him out and held him up high. He was very dirty. Dave was so pleased he gave out a cry of joy, ran down to the front gate, took Dogger from her hands and hugged him tight. We thought he was lost, Bella told the bin men. And they all get raised a cheer. And then, of course, Dave and Bella helped Dad to clear up every bit of rubbish they'd tipped out and get it back into the bin. For you, that was a close thing, said Dad, when they were all sitting amongst the presents. Dave was tenderly wiping some dust from Dogger with a piece of tissue paper. He was too happy to speak. He had Dogger back and that was all that mattered. Happy Christmas, Dogger. Have a lovely morning and we'll catch up tomorrow. Bye.